We have live reports tonight on a variety of stories. Team coverage tonight with WVUA News. We start with reporter Tori Dunnan, who joins us now live from Boston with more on where the investigation began. Moore will still be around campus. He's leaving big shoes to fill as athletic director. Reporting live on the University of Alabama campus, Daniel Sparkman, WVUA News. Tamika. Good evening to you. We are live here at Full Moon Barbecue, just one of the many places here along 15th Street and McFarland Boulevard that was destroyed on April 27th. Hey, Janie, it's good to be here with you live to mark this 50th anniversary. I was here last year for the 49th anniversary commemorating the stand in the schoolhouse door. There's this brand new plaza here. It's called the Malone Hood Plaza right in front of Foster Auditorium. We start with breaking news out of Coker. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tamika Alexander. And I'm Daniel Sparkman. According to Lieutenant Andy Norris with the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office, deputies are searching for three masked black males who robbed the Dollar General off Highway 82 in Coker. Investigators are currently on the scene searching for clues. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office. That number is 205 752 WVUA has a crew on the way back from the scene and will have the latest information as it becomes available. Thank you very much. And you're listening to President Obama speaking there about the uh, things going on in the IRS, uh, uh, how they were treating some of those agencies that were requesting nonprofit status during the election cycle back in 2012. Now, just some of the things he said that he will hold all parties accountable. The uh, Secretary of the Treasury has asked for the resignation of the commissioner of the IRS and has gotten that. They're planning to implement new safeguards and also make sure that they work with Congress to resolve all of the issues. The president says the good thing is, the good news is that this is fixable and this will not happen again. We'll have much more on this coming up tonight at 6 and 10 o'clock. For now, here's Janie. Let's check in with Daniel Sparkman. See what's coming up on the news at five. Hello, Daniel. Well, hello, Mr. Salter. I'm really looking forward to this because I get my own show and my name's Dan. And today uh -huh. you have your own show. I know. And your name's Dan as well. And I might have my own show for the rest of the week. That's what you I know, hear. Fingers crossed. Indeed. Knocking on wood, <laughs> hoping that continues to happen. <laughs> well, what's happening at five? We actually have a lot of stories coming up today at five. And we're going to start with an update in Greene County where the trial of the case against the former circuit clerk is now underway. <laughs> a University of Alabama telecommunication and film production class is shooting a zombie comedy pilot. The pilot titled ZomCom will tell the story of a group of zombie chasers who are working with various corporations to tag and study zombies. Students will have a chance to use their audio and visual skills, but also will learn about things like special effects makeup and social media campaigns for promotion. According to the university, the pilot will be entered into several festivals around the nation. And it's always interesting when they're around here shooting it and you don't expect them to be and you walk down the hall and there's zombies in the hallway. I know. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's zombies. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. just a huge hit right now. Yeah. Yeah. Is. The Walking Dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those yeah. shows. That looks like a lot of fun though. Oh, sure. Yeah. And I wish them luck in all their competitions. That's yeah. right. We do. Daniel Sparkman is live in College Station, Texas at Texas A&M where the countdown is on for Bama's big showdown against the Aggies. Hey there, Daniel. Uh, hey, Danny, it's good to be with you here from College Station, Texas. My first time ever being here, and it's been a great experience so far. Aggies have been fairly hospitable. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. I wanted to mention this fountain behind me. I know some of you guys saw it at 4 o'clock. It's the Rudder Fountain, named for a major general in World War II, also a former president of Texas A&M, which has about 50,000 students. I'm Daniel Spark. And I'm Janie Wallace. Danny Salter is off today. Yes. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Happy Monday, Daniel. <laughs> I'm excited. It's going to be a great week, Janie and Daniel, all week. I know. We are happy to be filling in for the great and wonderful Danny Salter, and we're very excited. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. day to be here. But you know what? I still can't figure out where he's at. Oh, I don't know either. We're going to try to figure that out a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a beautiful day outside, it like is. you said. I've really enjoyed the weather today, uh, especially considering all the uh, rain showers we had on Saturday. I know. But you know, it's beautiful. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. Hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. Hey, Danny. Our spay coupon to help get her spayed as well. Because she's um, a little too young for that right now. Yes. Yeah. And what we offer, too, is, uh, that, uh, is a really good incentive as well as a microchip, um, which is an ID for a pet. Hey, so, uh, like Jazzy here, wouldn't be as difficult to find if she had a chip, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, and exactly. I can, can uh, attest to uh, the necessity of a chip. You know, mm -hmm. my dogs actually got loose and ran away one time, and thankfully they had the chip, and the uh, Humane Society was able to call me that's, and say that they had my animal. I think that's probably, I mean, next to the pet, of course, all the, the vaccines and the other things, microchipping is the best thing you can do. Oh, yeah. And it's um, relatively inexpensive, mm -hmm. too. It is. We, we uh, microchip at the shelter for, for people's pets is $25, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we do um, register it for you, and all you have to do is just keep your up, information updated. So. And it goes through uh, 